Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today what I want to do is just make uh, a couple of announcements and kind of news and updates, what you can expect to see uh, coming up on this YouTube channel. Um, first of all, uh, one of the big ones, which I know some of you aren't going to like, I sold the Ford Ranger EV. So again, that was a 1998 uh, electric pickup truck actually built by Ford. So uh, right now when I'm talking to you in 2019, you literally can't go and buy an electric pickup truck. They're going to be coming out in the next couple of years. Tesla is going to have one. Ford's going to have one. We're going to have a lot of them in a couple of years. Well, I already had a 1998 Ford Ranger truck. Um, it was a little odd how I got it. And frankly, I didn't really need it. Um, it worked great. I got it out to a number of different uh, educational events and had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it is sold now, and the big thing that that meant is space back in my garage, so I have room to work, uh, especially for over the winter. Now, this truck did go out to another person who was specifically looking for a Ford Ranger EV. Uh, it is going to have lithium batteries in it. Ironically, probably the exact same uh, lithium batteries that I was fooling around with, uh, some of those valence uh, drop-in 12-volt replacements that were used, for example, in the Smith brand electric trucks. So it's time to say goodbye to the Ford Ranger EV. It's gone. See you. Uh, it was uh, fun to learn about, fun to experiment with, but it's off to an owner who was actually looking for one of those trucks. Now, the big thing is that since I have the space freed up in my garage, it allows me to work on other projects. And the weird thing, I don't know if it's karma or what, um, as soon as I sold the truck, all of a sudden, um, several people have contacted me about some other projects. Uh, one of the first ones, actually, is uh, there's a guy who wants to commission me to build an electric tractor. You may have seen one of the videos. Um, I was already looking out at some tractors over at a friend's place. Frankly, uh, they're in pretty rough shape and those tractors will probably not make a very good conversion. But what I'd like to do is convert this tractor and actually uh, put the effort into it, into producing the, the material like I did with my Build Your Own Electric Car and Build Your Electric Motorcycle series. Now, those were like 10 years ago now that I did those, but I still get a lot of really good uh, comments on those videos. And frankly, it's a lot of work to put something together like that. But, um, you know, back when I did my electric car video, there was really no other electric car videos out there. Um, like, I had heard of people doing electric car conversions, but who was making a video showing how to do that? And I kind of feel like we're at that same point with tractors right now. Um, there's the old Electrac tractors. There's a lot of those still around. And there are electric conversions that I'll see photos or short video clips on YouTube, but very little about the actual conversion process itself. So I'd really like to see about doing uh, a full how to convert a tractor to electric series. So I'm actually on the hunt for a tractor right now, and we're going to see what works. Um, this guy wants a front-end loader, a three-point hitch, PTO, kind of all your typical tractor stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a real honest-to-goodness tractor, but it also has to have enough uh, battery storage. It has to have enough runtime on it to make it really workable for his property. Another interesting thing is I've got a really slick AC motor at my place right now. Uh, this is actually the motor that was originally in the Marquette University uh, E350 13 passenger van. That was a university engineering project. Uh, a friend and I uh, ended up pulling out that motor and controller from that van. It was stored over at his place for a while and uh, kind of a back burner thing. Uh, he didn't have any storage, so he said, here, if you want it, you take it, do something awesome with it. So I'm hoping at a bare minimum to be able to use that AC motor, maybe just for an AC motor video. Um, my DC motor video as part of the do-it-yourself electric car has been very popular. Uh, people really like that, so maybe I just need to make a nice uh, here's how AC motors work for your own electric car uh, kind of a video. I also just got off the phone the other day with another guy interested in possibly commissioning me to do a conversion for him, only this would be a full-size four-wheel drive diesel pickup truck that he already has, he loves, and he really wants to make an electric conversion out of it. Uh, now, we don't have commercially built electric trucks yet. And so what he wants to do is uh, get a nice big four-wheel drive truck converted to electric, 
before you could run out and buy one from, say, the Ford dealership. Uh, I think this project has some potential. Uh, Four-wheel drive is certainly interesting, and there's some challenges with a big modern truck. Uh, now I'm actually curious if that AC motor would go right in that. Hmm. I also just found a crashed Mitsubishi iMeave posted on an auto auction site. It's got some damage on the front and the back, but typically with electric cars, the batteries are right in the middle. And what's interesting about this is I already own a Mitsubishi iMeave as my daily driver, so first of all, it could certainly just be a parts car. Um, but there are people that, you know, they buy the batteries off of a salvaged uh, Nissan Leaf, Chevy Volt, vehicles like that. But the Mitsubishi was just really not popular. They didn't make a lot of them. They didn't sell a lot of them here in the States. Um, but I've already taken apart a battery pack before. They have these kind of nice uh, smaller lithium cells, which would actually be really nice for a conversion. Um, they also have this great compact permanent magnet uh, AC motor that drives the car and it's kind of all on a subframe. So there's some potential there for taking that and just plopping that straight into another car. Um, I also checked the VIN on this crashed car and it's the base, base, base model, but it was upgraded to have the, uh, the Chatamo fast charge as an option. And what's neat about that is with Chatamo, you can pull power from the car through that connection, not just put it in there. So there's even some possibility of literally taking the entire battery pack off that car, bolting it to my wall, and making a nice big uh, 16 kilowatt hour, uh, literally a power wall, which I think that could be kind of cool too. So there's gonna be some great projects coming up right here on this YouTube channel, along with uh, you know some of the smaller things. I got some hydraulics I'm playing with. I've got a jump starter that I think I wanna uh, convert over to lithium. Uh, a couple other small projects like that. Um, but of course, all this, it takes a lot of time and work. And frankly, what really helps is if you subscribe, if you share these videos, if you stop on over at 300mpg.org, um, all of that does help me to be able to make videos, particularly the, uh, the better, more time-consuming ones. So if you would, please subscribe, click the little notification bell, um, you know, set me to your homepage, all those sorts of things, so that whatever the next project is, you're the very first one to find out about it. Um, I'm also on Patreon, um, kind of a slow start on that, but I'm trying to put out some uh, extra cool stuff on Patreon as well. So if you wanna check that out and uh, support me there, I would absolutely love that as well. So until next time, stay charged up.